Na karibu tena mtazamaji kwenye taarifa za Kaitlyn Leo Weekend. Viongozi kutoka eneo la bonde la Ufa wanashikilia kuwa kuna watu wanaoishi katika msitu wa Mau walionunua ardhi yao kwa njia halali. Wakiongozwa na seneta wa Elgeo Marakwet Kipchumba Murkomen na aliyekuwa gavana wa Bomet Isaac Ruto wanapendekeza kuwe na majadiliano kabla ya watu hao kuhamishwa jinsi inavyotaka kufanya serikali. Al Chanda na taarifa hiyo. Awamu ya pili ya kuwaondoa watu kutoka msitu wa Mau haiwakoseshi usingizi wanaolengwa pekee bali pia viongozi wao ili kutuliza joto bila kujali mirengo ya siasa wakakongamana mjini Nakuru kujadili swala hilo People who live in Narok South are actually living in a trust land and they are genuine buyers of land from titles issued by the people of Kenya and by no means can they be categorized as uh, forest dwellers. When people talk about this area, it may look like it is just a forest. These are settlements. And the adjudication of those areas started in 1973, like in all other areas, up to 1976. And people got title deeds. The people who are living in right now there are the people who bought land from original allotees. Awamu ya kwanza kwa furusha watu kutoka mao ilishuhudia watu kuachwa bila makazi na sasa viongozi hao wameelezea wasiwasi wao kuhusu uwezekano wa hali hiyo kujirudia. Licha ya kuwatetea walio katika misitu hiyo wako tayari kwa mazungumzo ili kupata suluhu ya kudumu. We are planning to have a meeting with the cabinet secretary of environment on Tuesday uh, next week. Baadhi ya viongozi aidha wamekuwa wakitoa shinikizo kwa serikali kuwafidia watu hao iwapo ni lazima wafurushwe pendekezo lililokataliwa awali na waziri wa mazingira Kiriako Tobiko There is nothing like compensation for Mao if you are in Mao the title you have is a paper title maelfu ya wanafunzi wapo kwenye hatari ya kuathirika